So we end up using a lot of different software at the same time, pretty frequently. And with that, even with web-based stuff, we end up using a lot of tabs sometimes in our Chrome windows all at the same time. And it becomes really important to be able to quickly switch between what you've been working with. And shortcut keys can make that really, really easy, especially when you're swapping back and forth between either two different tabs, possibly, or two different programs, more likely. So um, let's look at some quick ways to do that. There are some nice shortcut keys that you can use that have existed forever. It's just part of Windows. It's how Windows works. And we can utilize that to switch between whatever we want. So the first one here to take a look at, probably I'm going to say the most important, is the Alt-Tab combination. So by putting my thumb on the alt key and my index you know first or second finger really on the tab key that allows me to just quickly hit alt tab and i can swap back and forth between different programs now if i hold the alt key down i can tab 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 my way through each of these different programs so i can go to back to word that i had open earlier and i can come back to the actual document that i'm talking about right now now, if I don't hold the key in between, if I just very quickly hit Alt-Tab, it bounces basically between that one and the previous one. And I, I can just sit there going back and forth and back and forth. So if I'm, say, reading information on a web page or a screen or a document and then quickly switching to go type something back on another one, or I'm looking at, say, my, well, it's not my calendar, but let's look at Notebook. I'm looking at notebook if it was say my calendar i'm looking at some dates and then i'm switching back to what else do i have open maybe email or something i could switch back to my email over here so i'd be switching from email back to whatever other document and i can use my mouse and move around on this grid as well as i'm holding the alt key the whole time with my thumb here and then i could just say click on word if that's where i wanted to go back to Similarly, if I'm doing that, I hit Alt-Tab and I hold that Alt key to keep the screen up. I could look at some of these and go, I don't really need the snipping tool right now. I can just hit the X right there with my mouse and get rid of that very pretty quickly. In this case, it's prompting me because it wanted to know if I was going to save that. So I can say no. Um, but any program that's not in the middle of trying to save something, I'd be able to go ahead and just hit the X and get rid of entirely whenever I want to. So super handy that way to just be able to alt tab between each of these things. Come back up here. There we go. Um, then down below it, the other option here is sort of similar but different is alt escape because escape's a little higher than the alt tab. So your finger positioning is pretty much the same. The difference here though is it's not swapping alternating back and forth between two apps. It's just going to allow me to, without seeing, without previewing anything, allow me to cycle through all of my different apps. So I've hit Alt Escape and then Escape and then Escape and then Escape and then Alt Escape again each time. It's allowing me to switch back and forth between all these things or cycling through them I should say. I tend to prefer Alt Tab quite a bit more because it allows me to switch back and forth between two specific programs that I might be using. Now another option we have here is the Control Alt Tab one. This is a bit of a weird one. What it does is when I hit Control Alt Tab it's kind of like what I was doing before but now I don't have to keep my hand on the actual keyboard. I could take my hand off. With the Alt-Tab option, I was keeping my thumb on the Alt key the whole time. With the Alt-Control-Tab option, that actually keeps all of this up for me. And I can just mouse over whatever I want and see what's going on and, and select my program that way. Um, so I don't tend to use that one nearly as much. I tend to just hang out on the Alt key a little bit and keep that up there. Um, but that's a good option as well. And the other one that I do use is Control Tab. So very similar to doing Alt Tab, but Control Tab, it actually allows me to cycle across between the tabs that I have open in my browser right now. So when I look up at my browser, if I was looking at, say, this document, and I wanted to switch back and forth between that and, I don't know, I'll just open a new tab here right now, some new tab. Right now, they're at opposite ends of my Chrome browser. So when I'm over here looking at my document, if I use this control tab option, it's going to go to the next one and then the next one and then the next one as I hit keep hitting tab, 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 tab until I get to where I want to be. And then as I continue, it's going to come back around to the beginning. So I hit control tab, tab, tab to get back to there. 
not the most efficient thing in the world because even if I take this and I drag it along my row of tabs here and I decide to place it right next to them, then yeah, control tab will make it the next one, but then I can't just control tab my way back to it. I have to actually go up and click that. So the way around that to use that and make this more efficient is I'm going to click on that tab and pull it down off the browser window so it's by itself. It's its own little browser window now. So that gives me, firstly, I could go back to using alt tab if that's just what I prefer, because now with two browser windows open, it's going to treat these as two separate programs. I can hit alt tab and I'll see there's the other um, Chrome window in the background. So I can choose that and then I could be sitting there going alt tab, alt tab, alt tab and just switch back and forth if I wanted to. But if I want to utilize this control tab option, that's fine. I'm going to pr pull this down for a second. I'm going to grab this new tab that I wanted to switch between and pull it down. So now they're in their own two windows here, right here and right here. Now if I grab this guy, I can bring them up and attach them to that window. And now I have two tabs all by themselves here and I can start using this control tab option. So I can go control tab, control tab, control tab. And I'm never switching out of Chrome. I'm always just switching back and forth between these two tabs inside of Chrome, inside of this one Chrome window. And when I'm ready to switch back to the other Chrome window, I can use my Alt tab option and switch back to here and get all those other tabs open that I was swapping between earlier. So Alt tab and Control tab, two really, really handy shortcuts that are going to make switching back and forth between different programs a whole lot simpler, a whole lot easier, and a whole lot more efficient for you as you work your way through different programs that you've got open seeing what you would need to close, and then quickly switching back and forth, back and forth between different programs. It makes it a lot easier than reaching for your mouse and grabbing something um, to, to move around and switch between. It means your mouse can stay on the buttons that you want to keep them on, uh, that you might be selecting. And it also makes it a lot easier for things like cut, copy, and paste, because they're in that lower right corner or lower left corner of your keyboard as well. So you can switch between apps very quickly, have your mouse ready to go to copy something, switch back to the previous app, and you're already there to paste it. Um, so things become much more efficient when you start doing some of that swapping back and forth with your keyboard shortcuts and allowing your mouse to do other things.